Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my channel. So today is usually my beginner um, series, but I'm going to start doing some 3D projects on this and they're going to be easier and quicker um, 3D projects. Well, I want to say quicker, but um, <laughs> this little flower here is from... Um, the new Magnolia Memories dies that we have. It coordinates with the Good Morning Magnolia um, stamp set. It is a bundle. But um, this is really a quick and easy flower to put together. I know it's so pretty that it's hard to believe. Um, I actually made a box on my Facebook page. And if you follow me on my Facebook page, Stamping with Amore, you saw me create this gorgeous box here. So this is the large magnolia that you can make. Um, but look how gorgeous this box is. I love, this is one of my favorite. And it's basically because I love the designer series paper and the magnolia is just stunning. So... This one is the smaller version of that flower, so I wanted to use it. I actually made this um, to show everyone when I did that video, to show everyone that you can make a smaller version. Now on this one, I used the Petal Pink Stampin' Blend on here, and but I like it better using the Petal Pink Stampin' Ink, uh, Stampin' Pad. So this is the regular stamp pad, but I use this, and this time I went ahead and cut all the pieces out. I'll show you what you need to do um, to make this. So these are the pieces that you need, and I like the softer look that the stamp pad gives you, um, but you can do it either way, however you like it. Um, you can even watercolor these. Use watercolor paper. I've not, I didn't even try that, but I bet that would be really pretty. And so you need two of these larger ones and two of the small ones and then one of these little center pieces. So this is the, the dies that come in this stamp set, but it's gorgeous. Look at all the dies that you get in here. And the stamp set that coordinates it is a two-pack, um, two box stamp set so you get this gorgeous magnolia and um, a lot of beautiful sentiments the writing's gorgeous this little um, magnolia bud and it's just really a gorgeous bundle to have so these are what you're you need to make the smaller one you'll need to cut two of these and two of these and then the little um, center for for it Alright, so I already did that, so I'm going to show you really quickly before we do the box how to put this together. Now what you're going to do is you are going to grab your um, bone folder and you're just going to start curling these up. Loosen up those paper fibers and get these to curl. And we're just layering these. Now on the big one I did cut a circle. Um, for my base, but on this one I really didn't need to do that, so I didn't. But if you feel better having a little circle, and I think I may have used, I think, the one and a quarter or one and a half circle punch for that. But this one, you wouldn't need one that big. So you're just curling those all off. I'm going to use some wet glue, and we're just going to put these together. And you're just going to kind of stagger the pieces so you have petals going you know all the different ways and you're just layering these it's so really easy to do and of course you know when you're using wet glue you know that you have to let it um, sit for a while before it totally adheres but just I fooled with the little um, petals and you can one thing about the wet glue is you can you can move these around a little bit better more than you there you go that one's better that way is better all right and then I'm taking the little centerpiece and I'm curling giving that a little bit of a curl too and we're going to place that in the center and I'm trying to do this fast because 
I want it to be a quick and easy project. Now what I used for the center, these are for our daisy. We have a new daisy laying um, stamp set and it has the punch and everything and it's for the daisy centers but it's called Perennial Essence Floral Centers. But it looks really cute in the center of these. So, and they are self sticking. Just had to take the back off of it. And I need my little piercing tool to get that off. It's a little bit difficult with my fingernails. And then I'm just going to place that in the center. You can use any kind of embellishment that you like in the center, but look how cute it looks in the center of that. So that's your little flower that's going to go on this little, it is a Ghirardelli box, by the way. So for this, you are going to need a piece of petal pink. This piece is three by six and a half. And I decided to mat the bottom piece too after I got that all together. So you're going to need one piece that's one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And then you need another piece that's one and seven eighths by one and three eighths. So we're going to mat them both this time and I think it's, I'm going to be like it better so that you can see how beautiful this paper is. Now the paper that I'm using for this is also the Magnolia Collection, and it's called, so it is the Magnolia Lane, and this paper is gorgeous. I'm definitely ordering another pack of this. I know I will use it like crazy. I love the stripes in it. I love the flowers. The black with the um, petal pink is beautiful. Look at the patterns on this paper. It's just gorgeous. And so we're using this one right here. All right, so let's get our Simply Scored. And we are going to score this on the six and a half inch side. We're going to score it at two, four and a half, and five. And then we're going to turn it and score it on the three inch side at one half and two and a half, or it's one half on each side. And that is as quick and easy as it is. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, this is the top part. We are going to cut this off. This is gonna be the piece that folds over. We're doing that on both sides. And then we're just cutting in on these sides here. And I always take a little bit away to make it a little bit easier to fold in. And I'm going to shorten those just a hair. Seems to help a little bit. Alright, so we're going to sharpen all these score marks. And then we're just going to adhere it and then we're going to put on our matte pieces and we are at our flower and we will be done. It's a very quick and easy one. Now I would use our tear and tape here on these pieces and you're going to put it on the inside here. You want something strong. There's two Ghirardelli's in here so you want to make sure it holds on to those stays together. I'm going to remove the backing on here. Tuck in your little tails there and then just bring these up and line them up. Just like that. And I kind of got this one a little bit off on the bottom so I'm just going to trim it little piece so it's flat. And then the next thing that I did here, so this folds over nicely, is I just cut at an angle. So this will fold over nicely like that. And I, how I did that was I just took this and just kind of curved it with my bone folder. So it'll just fold over nicely like this. So let's get our matte pieces on. I'm going to use some snail for this. So we're putting one on the bottom here. 
And then the other one's going on our top piece. It's so pretty, this paper. Got it a little off-centered there. And then how I kept this shut was I'm going to use those little Velcro that I get from Walmart. And you need one of the fuzzy side. And then this side is got the rough side of the Velcro. And I usually just stick them together and then I'll put them on the spot that I want it. And then I'll just press that on a small treat holder um, it's easier to do this and then if you see any pieces like edges sticking up you can definitely just trim that like that and so that is our treat holder I should have brought a couple more Ghirardelli here I'll show you them inside here so you can fit two in there and then all we're going to do is, you can put glue dots, I'm going to glue it with my wet glue so it stays. And you're going to set that right on top. Just like that. And that is it. They are complete. They're really cute. This would really be cute to um, put on someone's desk or someone's birthday. It would be really just a cute little I'm thinking of you type gift. But I love this flower. It's just so pretty. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see you later, everyone. Bye.